Hello, Port Washington families. This is Michael Hines, the superintendent of schools for the Port Washington School District. Over the past several weeks, my administration has been working with our staff in preparation as to when the governor makes an announcement regarding the mask mandate. Now we recognize a decision about the school mask mandate is likely to be announced after we return from winter recess. So what we will do when the mask mandate changes is really outlined um, in some of these slides I'd like to share with you. And here are some of the main points. Um, so first off, uh, test kits will be sent home with your child on Thursday, which is February 17th. Now these tests can be used before your child returns from winter recess or as you need them. And there is no requirement to test your child before they return from break. Now, if you do not want the kits sent home with your children, please return the form that was actually emailed to you uh, earlier today uh, to your child's teacher no later than Wednesday. Now, if you'd like to pick up a test kit in lieu of it being sent home with your child, please contact your building's main office. Now, as we continue to prepare uh, for masks being optional, uh, in the event that the New York State mask mandate um, is uh, lifted, mask wearing would be optional for students and staff, except, um, and this is a federal mandate, um, when riding on school buses. Upon return to school from an isolation or quarantine, and as for days six through 10, and then also if deemed a close contact and, uh, and you're up to date with COVID-19 vaccinations, including boosters where eligible, a well-fitting mask must be worn for 10 days. Now, as required by the New York State Department of Health and the Nassau County Department of Health due to potential future surges. So one thing I want to be very clear about, too, is a physical distance of three feet will uh, be maintained when practical, which includes lunch. Now, chorus and band will maintain three feet of distance when practical as well. When it comes to isolation, uh, if you test positive or show symptoms of COVID-19, you must isolate. And what does that mean? Well, it means staying home uh, for five full days, uh, wear a well-fitting mask for days six through 10. Uh, staff and students can return to school after five days of isolation if symptoms have improved and there is no fever for 24 hours without the use of fever reducing medication. Also, when it comes to quarantining, if you are a close contact, which means uh, you've been around someone who has tested positive for COVID for 10 to 15 minutes in a 24 hour period, you may have to quarantine. Now, quarantine is based on your vaccination status. So continuing, we have students um, mandated to quarantine or isolate and will be offered instruction within 24 hours of being ordered to quarantine and or isolate. Now, any questions regarding the program, please contact um, the building principal or assistant principal. When it comes to PCR, rapid, rapid PCR, and at-home tests, they're all permitted for identification of COVID-19 for students and staff. Testing for unvaccinated staff, as required by New York State, has not changed. And any questions regarding quarantine, isolation, or symptoms, please contact uh, the school nurse. And please note that the New York State Department of Health has a chart that outlines all of this criteria. Finally, and I would say this is one of the most important points, um, is has to do with my expectations moving forward as a wonderful school community, and we are incredible. Now, I am emphasizing that we respect each other's choices. We must respect each other's choices. Bullying will not be tolerated. And I wanna be very clear about that. We have to respect where other people are coming from, differing opinions. And I know we will do this as we transition together. I look forward to everyone working together to build a school culture that respects the decisions that we all make and seeing you when we return from winter break. Thank you.